Have you ever noticed that Pomeranians have a variety of different looks? One of the most obvious differences is a Pomeranian's facial structure. Some have very long muzzles looking like a fox, whereas others have very short muzzles and look more like a teddy bear. So let's dig into the different types of Pomeranian faces. There are three different terms or nicknames that are given to describe the different types of Pomeranian faces. They are fox face, baby doll face, and teddy bear face. In reality, there is only one official type of Pomeranian, with these different names used to describe different face features and appearances. So what are the differences between the face types? They are subtle but noticeable differences between the three terms that are used to describe a Pomeranian's face. The fox face Pomeranian. The fox face look is the most traditional face structure for Pomeranians. The breed standard uses the term fox-like in the official breed standard, but the wording is referring to the dog's expression and not its muzzle or head shape. The misinterpretation leads people to believe that Pomeranians should have a long and pointy muzzle when that's not true. The breed standard for a Pomeranian's muzzle is rather short, straight, free of lippiness, neither coarse nor snippy, and a ratio of a length of muzzle to skull that is a third to two thirds. Is it okay for a Pomeranian's muzzle to be longer than two thirds of its skull? It is okay for a Pomeranian to have a muzzle that is longer than two thirds of its skull, but that Pomeranian would be falling outside of the breed standard. It may be possible that the Pomeranian is not purebred or may have a genetic background that is not to standard. Pomeranians are beautiful and come in all different shapes and sizes. The most important thing is to make sure that you're getting your puppy from a reputable breeder to ensure its health and background. So next up is the baby doll face Pomeranian. A Pomeranian with what is called a baby doll face will have a muzzle that is slightly shorter than the breed standard. The teddy bear face Pomeranian. A teddy bear face Pomeranian has the shortest muzzle of them all. A teddy bear face Pomeranian will have a muzzle that is only quarter the length of its skull. When a Pomeranian with a teddy bear face is compared with a Pomeranian that fits within the breed standard, the teddy bear face Pomeranian will have a dramatically shorter muzzle that almost gives the smooshed in face appearance. A teddy bear face Pomeranian may also have their eyes set closer to the muzzle and have the appearance of a fuller, more fluffy cheek. So what face shape should a Pomeranian have? A Pomeranian should have a face structure that fits within the breed standard with a muzzle that is one third to two thirds of its skull. The AKC breed standard also lists the following descriptions for a Pomeranian's facial features. The head should be and balanced with the body when viewed from above, broad at the back, tapering to the nose to form a wedge, an expression that may be referred to as fox-like, denoting his alert and intelligent nature, eyes, dark, bright, medium-sized, and almond-shaped, set well into the skull with the width between the eyes balancing the other facial features. Eye rims are black, except in self-colored Pomeranians like chocolate beaver and blue. Ears, small, mounted high, and carried erect. Proper ear set should be favored over the size. Skull, closed, slightly round, but not domed. Stop, well pronounced. The muzzle is rather short, straight, free of lippiness, neither coarse nor snippy. Ratio of length of muzzle to skull is one third to two thirds. The nose, the pigment should be black, except in self-colored Pomeranians like chocolate, beaver, and blue. There's one tooth out of alignment is acceptable. And the disqualifications at this time are light blue eyes, blue marbled eyes, and blue flecked eyes. So why do Pomeranians have different faces? Dog breeders have always selected their breeding pairs based on the possible genetic outcome of the puppies. Every breeder has their own traits that they prefer, whether it's color, pattern, stature, or even facial shape. The same goes for Pomeranian owners. Every owner has a different Pomeranian look that they prefer, giving a demand for many different variations and genetics within the Pomeranian breed. So how did Pomeranians get different face types? Through time and generations of breeding, the facial structure of Pomeranians has changed. Due to the AKC standard, there has always been the largest set of Pomeranians 
Pomeranians that will fall within the breed standard. If there remains to be a demand for Pomeranians with shorter or longer muzzles, those will also be bred by some. Since Pomeranians are very popular dogs and are in high demand, I first see the different facial structures and descriptions being around for a long time. So are the different faces separate Pomeranian breeds? This may be lead to a lot of confusion. Although it may seem like there are many different breeds of Pomeranians, there is only one breed, the Pomeranian, with many other terms or nicknames that are used to describe their appearance. Are there any other differences in a Pomeranian's appearance? Besides the different terms given for a Pomeranian's facial features, there are many other terms used to describe a Pomeranian's appearance. Pomeranians can come in all different sizes, and it shouldn't be a surprise as Pomeranians were much larger in size until the late 1800s when Queen Victoria wanted her Pomeranians to fit on her lap. Some of the terms given to describe a Pomeranian size are teacup, mini, miniature, toy, throwback, partial throwback, and sturdy boned. There are also terms that are used to describe a Pomeranian's coat colors. At this point in time, there are 26 different Pomeranian coat colors. I won't list them all here but some of the most interesting include merle chocolate blue lavender wolf sable and party so some terms used to describe a pomeranian's coat pattern a pomeranian can come in many different patterns like merle brindle party and sable so how can we describe pomeranians fur pomeranians go through a special teenage phase where they lose their puppy coats and transition into their full double adult coats this phase results in many puppies with patchy looking coats and looking pretty awkward. The loving term that is given to this time is the puppy uglies. So what Pomeranian face should you get? Any Pomeranian is a wonderful addition to your family. I would start with looking at breeders near you and view the photos of their past litters. Making sure that you select a reputable breeder and getting a healthy dog is the most important thing. If you're drawn to a specific face type, you may be able to locate a breeder with dogs that fit that look. So who knew there could be so many different looks with within one breed of dog. Pomeranians are an incredible breed that comes in a rainbow of colors, patterns, shapes, and sizes. If you like this video, you may enjoy my video, What are the different types of Pomeranians? Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hug your palms today.